Now this shooting comes just one week after the four year anniversary of the Santa Fe High School shooting in Santa Fe, Texas. Marcelina Benito is speaking with family members of victims of that shooting. Well, me and the small town of Santa Fe knows all too well what the community of Uvalde is feeling right at this moment. Their message to families there tonight, you're not alone. Life changing, yeah. Completely. This week, four years ago, Rhonda Hart was in the midst of unimaginable pain. She lost her daughter, Kimberly, inside the halls of Santa Fe High, one of 10 killed that May morning. I know exactly what these families are feeling. I call it the blur, and um, they're going to be going through probably physical pain. Um, they're not going to be able to sleep. They're not going to be able to eat. They're going to be crying all the time. It's going to be awful. It's going to be absolutely dreadful. The tragedy that unfolded in Uvalde. It does trigger you. Reignites the pain and trauma that never fully healed after losing Kimberly. I feel very much like a duck right now. I've been using that analogy. I'm cool and collected on the outside and then underneath I'm paddling like crazy and just mad as hell. Anger because it happened again. It's lather, rinse and repeat as far as mass shootings go. She worries about the communities and families that will come next if nothing changes this time. Parents should never, ever have to bury their kids or lay their kids to rest. Rhonda says what happened in Santa Fe forever changed that small town, forever altered her own life, and it will change Uvalde. Now her mission to honor her daughter by fighting for gun control and school safety, hoping to spare others the pain she lives with every single day. People won't understand the pain that this is until it happens to them, and I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. In Santa Fe, Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News.